hey, hey, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. That pool bottom is deeper than it appears, and I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, Why doesn't my pool appear as deep as it really is? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a jar lid, a penny, and some water. Okay, take a look at this penny in a jar lid. Whoa, 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 what do you mean there's no pool there? Penny? <laughs> Apparently, what I'm trying to say is I would rather be at a pool. What do you mean there's no penny? Yeah, there is. What? What? Well, you're looking at me like, you know, I just farted in a kitten's face. Okay, see, I know what you're thinking. You want me to prove to you that there really is a penny in that jar there. Well, okay, see, now hold on. I just want to point out one thing here. It's like, see, just hold on one second. See, if I say to you that there's a penny in that jar there and you can't actually see the penny, you're like thinking, okay, side guy, I want you to prove that there's a penny in there. But if somebody comes up with some pointless theory about how there's like a black monkey in the sky and he's like farting lightning bolts down in the earth, then you don't actually ask for proof on it. But okay, I'm going to show you, prove to you, there is a penny in the jar. There was a penny in that jar lid, and you didn't believe me. You were thinking, this guy took a long walk off a short pier. <laughs> you really are crazy, Chris. <laughs> okay, so why can't you see the penny until I pour the water into the jar lid? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. You might think that light travels at one speed, about 300,000 kilometers per second. However, light doesn't always travel the same speed. As light passes through space, it does travel at 300,000 kilometers a second. However, as light passes through materials such as air or water, these materials can either speed up or slow down light. The reason you can't see the penny when it's in the jar without water is because the light bounces off the penny, hits the side of the jar lid, and bounces away from your eye. However, as light passes through the water at an angle, the part of the light beam that hits the water first will slow down so that the whole light beam can travel at the same speed. This causes the light beam to bend or refract. As the light passes back through the water, the part of the light beam that hits the air first slows down so the whole beam can travel at the same speed. Since a light beam bends so the whole beam can travel at the same speed, this makes the penny appear at a different spot. As far as we know, there is nothing faster than the speed of light except the expansion of our own universe. So now you know more about light refraction. You know, being able to see a penny that's not there. Is why science is so cool.